Girlfriend said her ex has bigger dick. Hello Reddit. I 25M have been with my girlfriend 25F for one year. One time I was casually talking with her on phone and joking about my DCK to my GF like yeah, that's because I got a big DCK, and she replied no you don't. Then I said well that's what some girls told me before you and then she said to me no, they don't know, or they just said it because they want you to feel good. I know what is big. After that I end the call. I didn't think about this for six months until something similar happened. We saw a wishing well, so I threw a coin there and wished something. After I threw the coin my GF said to me I think you wish for bigger DCK. I was shocked and said to her that what you said to me is very disrespectful. Then she replied to me like what? It's just a joke. Then I also brought up our old phone conversation and she said why you think about some stupid old thing what happened almost one year ago. I wasn't thinking so much what I say I just said it. I don't want to make you feel insecure. I asked her why did she say I know what is big and she admitted that her ex was bigger than me. She says that she wants to spend rest of her life with me and wants to have s time only with me and she enjoys it. However, the things she said have crushed my self confidence. She is very s time you will woman and I know size is important for her. I feel like I am not enough for her and feel pressure about having s time with her. I don't mind if someone has bigger dck than me but I don't want to hear that from someone I love. Is it my fault for being insecure, or is it time to get new girl, who makes me feel confident and not down? What can I do? I've never experienced something like this before. Thank you very much everyone. I read and appreciate every single comment. Edit, my conclusion is in the comments. Redditor's reactions, story 2 after. Redditor 1. This isn't cool. This is body shaming, and you shouldn't take it. How can someone who says she cares about you make comments like that? I will say that you needed to bring up the original comment earlier, but she keeps making new material. That's not okay. Op answer, she tried to explain it by being inconsiderate and didn't think about it. She said she didn't know DCK, is so sensitive thing for you. Redditor 2, after I threw the coin my GF said to me I think you wish for bigger DCK. No I wished for a better GF, goodbye. Redditor 3, okay first off, DCK size is not the ultimate determining factor in whether you're good at S time. It's just not. Most women will agree with this. That being said, the things she's said to you are disrespectful, and honestly come across as bullying to me. Ditch her and find someone who builds your confidence up. Redditor 4, op, let's cut to the heart of the matter. This isn't about your DCK size, this is about respect. This situation is upsetting because twice she has taken it upon herself to be greatly disrespectful to the man she claims to love. And when you confronted her about it she deflected and made it about how you care about the respect you receive x. I didn't know you'd be so sensitive. You know what's more important about a man than his dck size. The size of his metaphorical balls. How he stands up for himself and draws his boundaries will have a bigger impact on his life than his s time life ever will. Draw your boundaries. Point out her behavior is disrespectful this is not an argument. This is a true statement she can either accept or choose to ignore to protect her own ego, and decide what you will accept or not. I'm not going to tell you what your boundary should be, that's for you to decide. It could be about talking about her ex's DCK. It could be about making rude comments about your body. It may be other things you haven't posted about. But stick to it and be ready to leave her immediately if she crosses it, we've already talked about this. 
You disrespectfully crossed my boundaries. We're through. And walk. Op answer, you are right with this. I don't care about DCK, I care about respect. Maybe it's better I just walk away. Op update in the comment, conclusion, I had open conversation about this with my girlfriend. My girlfriend said that she said those things in state of anger. She said she is sorry about that, but also reminded me that I have said bad things about her as well, when we have had a fight or something, which didn't make her feel good either. We are quite open couple and spit dirty jokes almost every day. So I think that wishing well was honestly a stupid joke to make me feel bad when she was irritated she was inconsiderate and didn't honestly understand it's going to make so big impact on me. She even asked her friend afterwards, was that so ducking rude thing to say? We agreed that we can't choose our ex-partner's genitals. Some have bigger some have smaller. She said that she really enjoys my DCK size and doesn't even want so big DCK anymore, because it oftentimes just hurt. She says that she likes S time with me much more. Even though I am still hurt about this, I can at least see that she is being honest what she is saying, and made it clear that she is not looking for big DCKs, even though she had that experience. I set up clear boundaries for her, and told her if something like this happens ever again, I am walking away immediately. I am still young, no kids, and I know that if she wants to make me down again, she's gonna do it again within one year. My girlfriend has her own flaws and sometimes we argue, like in any other relationship, but in the end I have never had so much fun with any other girl in my life. For these reasons, I decided to man up, give her another chance and work through this. No one is perfect. Also big thanks for everyone who commented and helped me. Redditor answer, I think you made the right call. Good on you for listening to your girlfriend more than random people online. Like you girlfriend I've thought and said not so savory things in regards to DCK size. Not because it's so important to me, but because the person is implying bigger DCKs are superior, more desired and should be respected. So I immediately want to cut them down to size and say based on that ridiculous scale they aren't special. It's not kind I know, but I'm not here to be kind, just offer a bit of perspective. I can get judgmental if someone acts like I should like it just because it's big, or if they call an objectively average DCK large. It feels like toxic masculinity, like I need to lie and pretend to be a blushing virgin and I don't know any better, like I haven't experienced S time as they have. That's all to say there is so much socialization in regards to DCK size, the East size, experience levels and the range of sizes you come in contact with. It's hard to parse out when a person is being disrespectful to you or disrespectful to the society that shows to hold ridiculous standards so high. My gentle advice, brag about something she's really complimented you on like how she shivers when you touch her or responds to your tongue. Keep it personal, and keep society out of the s-timey banter. Story 2, my 24M girlfriend's 25F family are nudists so my girlfriend wanted me to practice their lifestyle. It didn't go well. I have been dating my girlfriend for about 8 months now. I've just started to see her parents recently more because of the pandemic. Like the title says they are nudists. They live in a nudist community and everything. My girlfriend told me this early on and I was mostly fine with it, even though I thought it was a little weird. She explained that they have been doing that since she was very young. She said that she's follow along with it sometimes, although not as much as she wasn't comfortable enough with her body. She warned me before meeting them that they would not have on clothes just because I was coming over. I understood and told her that's fine. When I went to see them she was right, they were completely naked. 
It all seemed so natural and normal for them. I tried to act normal, but it's hard not to stare at times when you're so unused to it. Before we left they both came over and each gave me a hug. That part was really awkward and a little gross. I also found it weird that they used nothing to cover up any of the furniture. My girlfriend later asked me what I thought. I told her that I thought it was a little awkward and different for me, but that I did like them. She seemed to understand? We planned on going over to see them a few weeks later. Before that visit my girlfriend said she wanted to discuss things with me. She said that she thinks it would mean a lot to them if we went there nude too, to show them that I was accepting of their lifestyle and to show that I respected them. I was a little freaked out by this so I told her that I needed time to think. I didn't really want to do this but I knew it would mean a lot to her family. I decided that I would try it out. When we got there we both took off our clothes in the car and walked inside. They looked really happy, and seemed to think it was so awesome that we were joining them like that. They gave me hugs again, which was super weird this time as we were all naked. We did most of the same stuff, except this time obviously my girlfriend and I were both naked. Since I'm not a practicing nudist, seeing other people naked my girlfriend can get me aroused. This probably doesn't need to be said but it meant that most of the visit with her family I was walking around with a hard on. The parents didn't really pay any attention to it thankfully but my girlfriend definitely gave me some weird looks. I whispered to her that I couldn't help it. We finally left. On the way home we were talking about how it went. I told her that I don't think that I could do it. I said I can accept them being nudist, but I can't do it myself. She seemed to be a little upset. She asked me why. I told her it was because it's not something that's natural to me. I explained how I felt aroused because I saw her naked. She told me I was gross for sexualizing her and seemed even more upset at that. When I dropped her off she called me a disgusting man and slammed the door. I feel bad for being aroused around her at her family's house, but I really couldn't help it. It's not natural to me and I'd rather just wear clothes. Because I'm refusing to be nude at their house my girlfriend believes that I don't respect them or their lifestyle. I've tried to explain my side but she won't listen. She is also angry at me and thinks I'm nasty for sexualizing her. Again, I feel as though I couldn't help that as this is so new and different to me. What can I do to smooth things over with her and the family? I like my girlfriend a lot and don't want to lose her, but I don't know what to do. TL, DR my girlfriend's family are nudists. She is upset with me because I don't want to participate in their lifestyle. What do I do? Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, honestly? You did everything right? You respected her family's traditions and even tried to include yourself in them. It's perfectly fine that it didn't feel comfortable for you, especially because it's not something you practice. Your GF sounds immature and judgmental, especially for being upset that you got aroused. The fact that she screamed at you for getting an e-action, an uncontrollable body response, shows the type of person she is. Personally, I say run. Redditor follow-up, uncontrollable body response. What do you mean Dennis Reynolds can go from flaccid to e-act in a moment's notice, Mac has seen it. Not too hard, and not too soft. Redditor 2, dude she was raised a nudist. It's so unfair of her to expect you to just flip a switch one day after being raised with a different view on nudity. That and nudism is supposed to be you know. Voluntary. You shouldn't be pressured or coerced into it, especially by your partner. 
you're not disgusting and you're not in the wrong and quite frankly, how your GF treated you ducking sucks. I do not think you have anything to be sorry for. If she can't understand where you're coming from, she may not be the girl for you. Ready to follow up, this, you can't be expected to just change your lifestyle to fit her families perfectly. Ready to 3, if your girlfriend can't seem to wrap her head around why someone who's absolutely, 100% not used to nudism would get aroused by seeing nude bodies, especially the nude body of his own girlfriend, then I don't really know what else to say. This just seems like a lack of empathy and understanding on your girlfriend's part. As someone who's presumably an adult, you'd think she'd understand how arousal is a natural, uncontrollable function of an adult male body in these types of situations. The only advice I have is to try to talk to her and get her to understand where you're coming from a little bit more, but if she refuses, there's really nothing more you can do. Ready to follow up, you're expecting a lot when current feminist preach that it's wrong to be aroused by a beast. Edit, just look at the radicals below me. Once again saying it's wrong to be aroused by a beast or even a BTT. Edit, too. It disgusts me how willing this sub is to throw away human sexuality norms. It is perfectly normal to be aroused by a woman's body. Perfectly ducking normal, but you're ready to shame men for their sexuality.